Hey Aquarius, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a read for you. Just a little clear. Take a deep breath. I've already shuffled. I'm just going to shuffle a few more times and then we'll get going. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising for Aquarius as well as the the Feminines, Mars, and the Masculines, Venus. And today is February 18, 2020. I'm a little behind schedule, but this is this for the second half of February for Aquarius. So for everybody watching and the best and highest good of all is concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Let's clear all negative energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all is concerned. And fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a deep breath, guys. Okay, last one. For Aquarius. Here we go. Aquarius, February 18, 2020, for the second half of February. Okay, all right, so first card out for you guys is the Three of Swords. And the challenge is the Queen of Wands, upright. The foundation for you is the Strength card reversed. What's happened in the recent past is the Four of Cups reversed. And what is crowning for you guys is the King of Swords reversed. Don't mind my, my ripped up old sweatshirt. I love this sweatshirt. I was just out jogging. All right. So what's coming up? What's coming up for you guys is the nine of pentacles. Nice. And how do you see yourself? Six of pentacles reversed. And then what's around you or how others might see you is the seven of pentacles reversed. And what are the blocks that you need to work on or clear? is the temperance card and where do we end up with the two of pentacles reversed but i do a little bit of a hangman configuration here at the end so this card connects you to whatever's left hanging in limbo at the end of the read that's a six of cups and that's a beautiful card and then what's left hanging in limbo for you guys is the hermit now you're going to get another card but you won't see that card till the end of the read and it may be more than one depending on what comes up and then the bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. So we're going to do a little backstory for you just to give you an idea of what's been going on. Okay. Just go back to there. All right, so we have the High Priestess going into the Three of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Page of Cups. So this has to do with your intuitive abilities, using your intuition, perhaps a secret, but it has to do with the workplace or place of co-creation where you come together to create with somebody else. And we have the man of passion here, which could be you or somebody else, as well as the page of cups. It could also be you or somebody else. All right, so we have Pisces coming in here. So this could represent this energy, but there's definitely like a, it could be a message of love or the king of wands has um, a little puppy love. Or it could be a father and child energy as well. They could be the youngest child. Or there was maybe a father who's bringing their child into work. And maybe it's a secret. So let's see what else is coming up from that. But the underlying energy is really positive. I'm going to clarify all these cards as well as do oracles at the end as well. So in the recent past, you had the four of cups over here reversed. And so somebody could be starting over in love. Or somebody was bored, but is no longer bored. And that could be a child, right, who's now no longer bored because maybe their parents taking them to work. Or maybe it's um, uh, where take your kid to work day. I don't know when that's supposed to be during the year, but or you could just be taking your kid to work with you. Or maybe teaching them the ropes at your work. Maybe you want them to follow in your footsteps. Or it could be a teacher and a student, or maybe tutoring somebody. Let's see. But there could be a secret here. 
Maybe you're out. Maybe it's you're out with a, a parent, like you know, to get a present for someone, and that's why it's a secret. It looks very positive. Well, literally, the King of Wands has a new love. Let's see. Starting over in love. I keep dropping all the cards. I guess this is your energy. A little bit scattered <laughs> all over the place. Okay. The foundation there is the the strength card reverse, which can be someone, a Leo who's out of control. But it can be someone who's also weak. Somebody, somebody could be going through ego death as well. And then the center card is the three of swords. So there could be some heartbreak or separation. Um, just hurt feelings or um, perhaps some kind of minor surgery or heart surgery that doesn't take too long. You know, just something that's like a day or two or maybe outpatient, that kind of thing. So let's see here. For the uh, Page of Cups there, the underlying energy, why do we have the Page of Cups? Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords reversed. And then the Nine of Swords, and for me, this is like the worst pain card, right? Because you're not finished with it yet, because you still have the Ten to get over it. So it could be really stressed out, suffering in silence, purging, right? Not able to sleep, headaches. And this is coming clean about something you've done. So you may not be sleeping because you did something wrong, or you stole something, or you cheated, or you lied, and you feel like you need to come clean about it, which is interesting, because this is such a positive energy coming into this. So it could be a child who did something, Maybe it's not as bad as you think it is, but you know you need to come clean. So let's see where that goes. It could be about love, too. The Ace of Cups is coming out after that. Here. So coming, the Page of Swords could have been a little sneaky about something, or still being a little sneaky, or literally did something bad that they need to confess about, and they're up nights they can't sleep. But they're acting like everything's fine, right? Because I don't want anyone to find out. So in the recent past is a Four of Cups reversed. So we have the Judgment card reversed, the Knight of Wands, and then the Five of Swords reversed. So starting over in love or no longer bored because you're scared you're going to get in trouble. <laughs> that could be too. The Judgment reversed is holding things back, right? Not making a decision or made a really stupid decision. Right, in going out, running around, and maybe starting a fight with someone, or someone's really defensive about whatever you did. This could be holding back an announcement, or not. Maybe someone was calling you and trying to get you to do something, or hearing the call to action, and you're not hearing the call, or you didn't call somebody back that you're supposed to call. But it's like because whatever you didn't do or did do, these two guys are now rushing in. This one's laughing probably because you're going to get in trouble for not having done whatever you were supposed to do. All right? So it could be, you know, your sibling really happy that you're the one who's getting in trouble this time. Or that kind of thing. Or somebody at work or school that doesn't like you who maybe was the cause of you get, doing whatever you did that's going to get you in trouble. So what's the foundation there with the Leo? the Leo energy or the weakness, All right? So we have the High Priestess reversed and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is about a secret coming out. So that's good because the secret's here and now in the foundation it's out. Having to do with the Queen of Pentacles. Or it could be the Queen of Pentacles needing to use her intuition and that's why she feels weak or Leo needs to use their intuition. Um, could be a Pisces as well, but the Queen of Pentacles is upright. So she's upright in her grounded in her environment like that she's using her intuition so the not it's either her secret that's out or leo who's not using their intuition or this pisces next you know the pisces child over here which that can just be a message of love as well so some weakness or ego death or a leo who's out of control let's see the center energy with the three of swords because there's definitely some kind of third party or heartbreak here we have the Seven of Cups reversed and the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever this heartbreak was or separation or surgery, whatever it is, was destined to be for sure. And this is about letting go of all emotional attachments, whether it's people, things, getting, you know, having a yard sale, just getting rid of all the stuff that no longer serves you. And this could be getting rid of foods, right, if you're having heart surgery because, you are you know, you're not eating properly. It's about, you know, getting real about what's important in your life. And it is destined. 
So your challenge is the Queen of Wands, and she could be the Leo there, but she's upright, and the Leo energy is reversed. So let's see who else is here. She has the Tower reversed, and the Eight of Pentacles reversed, and the Knight of Cups reversed. So she could be, she's not showing it, but she could be jealous, or this is somebody who's jealous around about her, but it can go either way. Just because she's upright, she could be put, trying to put it off like everything's fine, just like the Page of Cups over here was trying to put it off that everything's fine. The tower is reversed. This is either avoiding a disaster or in the aftermath of sudden events or epiphanies. And then this is either overworking or not working at all, or what you're doing is not working. And this is about jealousy and sincerity, rejection, refusing to give or receive love. And that could be a schmoozer too, right? The guy who likes everyone to think that they love him so that they'll do anything for him, but they're not planning on doing anything for them. So it's that kind of energy. But that's around this queen of wands. So she could be the schmoozer. She thinks she's all that. But she may not be working. So let's see. In the aftermath of some kind of separation or disaster, she's not working or she's overworking. To, I don't know, she's... Somebody's jealous or feeling rejected, either her or somebody else. This is definitely involved with the heartbreak or separation that's going on here. And we have the King and Queen of Wands and then the Page of Cups, right? They're both upright. So I'm kind of curious to see what this is here. The King of Swords is, is crowning here. And that could be a third party or it could be an attorney as well. But the King of Swords reverse has the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands reversed. And this is somebody who wants somebody bad, right? Somebody's in love and they want them. They're frustrated, very sexually frustrated. It could be creative frustration as well. But if there's a breakup here and there's a third party, it's because he is frustrated and wants to be with someone he's unable to be with at the moment. And he feels very defenseless to the energies coming in or other people's attacks against him. Okay. So what's coming up is the Nine of Pentacles. Let's see. So we have Pisces. We have Leo. I'm just looking at the main cards for now. Um, we have Sagittarius involved too. Because we have two fire signs already. At least. So we have a Sag and a fire sign. Because they're both in the main cards. And then Virgo's coming up at the end too as well. And like I said, we have Pisces too. So Pisces, Virgo, Sag, and Leo. And what's coming up is the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles has the Four of Wands, the King of Cups reversed, and the Justice card reversed. And this has to do with instability of some sort, whether it's a move, you're moving homes, you're entering a marriage, you're going to visit at somebody else's house, or they're coming to visit at yours, so you have to all of a sudden clean up everything so you feel unstable. Or it could be ending a big celebration that you're planning, or the party's over, just in general. The King of Cups is reversed, and Justice is reversed, so something's unfair. He could be either emotionally detached, or he could be really emotional, right? It could be an alcoholic, right? There's one side of the coin of him or the other. But either way, there's an instability and an injustice here. It could be a divorce going on too, but it's not complete. And he's not stable right now. So whether he's just not stable because he's over-emotional, emotionally detached, or because he's an alcoholic, and um, he's having issues with that because of this big move or divorce or whatever it is. And then we have the justice system involved here. And there's Libra energy here as well. And this has to do with the Sovereign here. So it's like the, whoever's splitting up in this situation, the King and Queen of Wands, you as Aquarius are seeing yourself as this Six of Pentacles reverse. So one of you, you could be one or the other for sure because there's some kind of inequity in the relationship. And obviously the feminine looks like she's got it all together. She's keep she's She's keeping the house she's got all her stuff she looks like she's got money all around her and the, then the king of cups is reversed reversed you know with injustice so if that represents the king and queen of wands then the the it looks like the female's getting her way however that doesn't have to be them that that sovereign could be your teenage child or your 20s and child you know it could be anyone really any independent woman who's in her sovereignty but she, she could also be a third party. And the king of, this could represent um, 
somebody else who's breaking up here. So any other queens here? Let's see what else is going on here. So he, this could be a third party, but he could be a third party too. So maybe both are cheating on each other. That would be interesting. <laughs> All right, so Aquarius. And you may not be one or the other. You could be someone who's involved with them, their family or at work. So Aquarius, but you're having inequity in the relationship, but it seems more work-related because of the finances, because you're in line with this and this, right? But also a Leo energy or ego out of control. Um, and you can be the King of Swords reversed, obviously, because this is coming up for you now, but it's reversed over there. So you have inequity here. This could be debt. It could be somebody who scammed you. It could be... Um, um, it could just be, you know, an imbalance in the relationship where one does everything and the other one never does anything. But this is happy family, emotional fulfillment with the King of Swords upright. But yet you're pretending like everything's fine, but it's not. This is clearly imbalance, all right? You're pretending like you have the perfect family, but there's a big issue here. Or you're in debt, but you don't want people to know that, right? Keeping up with the Joneses and all that. There's also the Three of Cups reverse coming up next to you. So that can indicate a third party, gossip, a negative group or negative influence around you. Okay, or just this really means no joy, right? Not coming together in joy with others. It could be drinking too much, partying too much, socializing too much. It could be someone who's antisocial, right? But really, it's about negative influences around you that don't serve you. Because you're the King of Swords is at least coming up upright. Or you want yourself to look that way. Or you are, and you're finding your own emotional fulfillment with a third party. But you have other stuff to clean up because there's imbalances. Whether it has to do with money, business, or your fam and a family if you're married. So around you, or how you might be seen, is the Seven of Pentacles. And then we have the Lovers and the Six of Cups reversed. So this can have to do with... The affection for your children who may be having a tough time if you're going through divorce or affection um, for um, the past returning so the past can be a childhood friend the soulmate but someone returning for the past or a lover that just hurt you deeply in the past or a past life type of thing as well but this is about implementing a plan or some kind of strategy whether it's you someone might be seeing you as strategizing or someone else around you is creating some kind of plan for to get somebody back from the past or to make or to how to help the kids feel better in the situation like so mediation or counseling that kind of stuff then we have the um, the temperance card is the block for you guys so why is temperance or patience the block for you and that patience that temperance card is like someone who's a fire swallower All right, well, on her, we have the Empress and the Emperor both reversed and the Eight of Wands revert, or upright. So it looks like a heated debate between a couple. And these can be a, a couple that's splitting up or one of their parents, all right? So they're trying to be patient, but they're not happy, <laughs> right? They're definitely shit. They're either the breakup couple who are constantly going back and forth with angry words, heated discussions, or they're the parents of one of the, the couple breaking up. It's funny because the king and queen of wands are upright. But the emperor and the empress are reversed. So I don't feel like they're the same couple. And then the king of swords doesn't have a counterpart, so to speak, here. So I'm saying like that sovereign could be one person's other. And then the king of swords or the Aquarius you could be the other third party in a situation where they both are cheating. And that's why neither one of them is pissed, but the parents are pissed because it's, you know, it, tar it tarnishes their reputation. All right, so then we get the two of the two of pentacles reversed at the end there. So we have the ace of cups again. And this came up over here with the page of cups. Offering love, but doesn't have a lot to offer right now. So if you're, someone's going through a breakup, they don't have as much as they used to because they had to, right, divide all the assets. But somebody's offering all of their love. They just don't have a lot of money to give right now, which is fine. But somebody is showing their, you know, they're they're breaking the facade. They're trying to break patterns. They're no longer juggling or pretending. They're dropping the facade for love. And then there's the Six of Cups upright above them, which can be children or soulmate. 
And then we have dysfunctional family going on here or a loss of money, which can be in a divorce. It's going to be a loss of money on both sides, right? Because they have to settle out. This looks like somewhat of an amicable settlement or distribution. Could be an inheritance as well. So maybe the, the emperor and the empress are both reversed because they've passed. And maybe somebody's actually communicating with them. But this is an inheritance. So this is either a payout and settlement from a divorce or inheritance. I'm not seeing any big like legal cases, although it could be that as well. Um, but definitely some energy of children here as well who need help or mediation. And then we have the hermit right after that, which could have to do with taking helping the children out. So let's see what we have. So with the hermit comes up the king of pentacles. There's a queen of swords. That could be another lawyer or could be a partner to the king of swords. Or this could be you, Aquarius female. And this is walking away from the situation, or she's talking about walking away from the situation. And she may be the lawyer defending the King of Pentacles. Or she could be um, his partner, and she's speaking about walking away. All right, so the King of Pentacles could be a Virgo, along with the Aquarius Queen of Swords. Or again, like I said, that's his lawyer. So you could be, you're coming up as the king of swords though. So you could be somebody's lawyer. And maybe they owe you money. All right, this is also coming out with that hermit, okay, the knight of swords. So this is somebody holding their tongue, but really wants to give somebody a verbal lashing if they're not. So they could be verbally abusive, right? So they're saying walk away. If someone's being verbally abusive to you, then it's time to walk away. So the queen of swords is saying, is literally saying that maybe defending the king of pentacles if he was verbally abusive he may be being charged with that then why didn't the other person just walk away or maybe that, maybe that's the way the reason they're leaving because they were being verbally abused so the what's the card that was after that it's just 2200 which is the fool we have justice so it's upright and that could be a finalization of a divorce or a, some kind of suit if there's a suit involved so let's see why the justice card is there that's also libra coming up which just as reversed is here. Somebody's free. All right. And this could be case closed, laid to rest. It could be that somebody passed as well. Like I said, it could have been an inheritance case. But either way, this, this is over. It's settled. All right. Everything's laid to rest. And they're free. So that's good for you guys. Okay. So the bottom of the deck here is the hermit coming out so this would be under underlying energy still so coming out of a detox situation or chaos right a lot of chaos here a lot of chaos with new information getting clarity on the situation and then the hermit shining light on it for you so that could be a counselor or just even stuff online or a friend you know anyone a doctor but somebody's helping you out um shining light on the situation that could be me and i am a virgo all right so now we have the numerology deck Let's get some Oracle cards for you guys. The Page of Cups is coming up more significantly as, as a message of love, right? But somebody's been keeping the love thing a secret, obviously, if two different people are together and they're both cheating. Um, so finally, this stuff is coming out. People are being released. Maybe there's a gag order on the court case because there is children involved. And it should be the King and Queen of wands so that's if that's you Aquarius with a lot of fire in your chart or you have earth in your chart as well because you're coming up with the six of pentacles and so and you could be the lawyer on the case or you could be involved with the case you could be a relative or a friend or whatever or you could be one of them but I'm not really getting if you're the guy I'm getting you more separate there as opposed to those two but it's anything's possible because there can be more than one more than one air sign so you're getting, make an effort. 13 is transition to allow the full transformation or change to happen. This is the solar plexus chakra and then the um, sacral chakra as well. So about being creative and making your efforts and confidence and in um, allowing transformations, transitions, endings to happen. And follow your dreams is also coming up, 85. And this is more uh, teal color and then pink. This is very much about compassion and high heart energy, which is follow your dreams. Make an effort to follow your dreams. The underlying energy is green in nature, which is your heart and your third eye. Allow things to happen naturally, 74. 
74 is the, let's see, three, four, five, six of pentacles. So you are six of pentacles, but it's reversed, it's imbalanced. You need to make, you know, you need to allow the balance to come back in, which they're saying are, will happen naturally, but you have to allow the changes to happen. So if you're fighting the changes, you're, whoops, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I just moved my remote. And let's see here. Um, so Romance Angels will do for you. Clarification card for Or an Oracle card, rather. For Aquarius, what is the Romance Angels? <sighs> Take a deep breath. I feel like it's over for you. Like So three cards, this dropped out, wedding. This situation involves marriage. But three other cards dropped out first. This kind of fell out afterward. And then you had, oh, it's four cards. So I'll show them to you really quick. The underlying energy is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So that's your energy from Aquarius. So it looks like you do have new love here. Okay. But you need to let go of control issues. And there is marriage involved which may mean your divorce or you may be planning on getting married so it's really nice energy and i want to do a a kipper deck card for you too all right so if you do have kids it looks like you could have like a teen or closer to 20s age or in their 20s and then we have the page of cups too which could be the baby you know or that can just be a message they neither one of them has to be kids so all right. Okay, a marriage there and a, and a gift. Wow, that's really beautiful. Three is the Empress or, or Gaia, nature. Allow it to happen naturally. And the gift of the moment, 17 is the star, allowing you to shine your light. And then we have um, at the bottom is the courthouse. There's obviously some legal issues going on with house, court, right, and the community as well. Okay. We have distant horizons there. There may be some kind of traveling that needs to happen. Ooh, but I'm sweating, you guys. There's a lot of masculine energy coming in. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you guys, Aquarius. It was really beautiful, actually. You had some great energies there. A lot of stuff that you had to go through. Looks like a lot, a lot of chaos was in the past. But I think you're done all of it, if not most of it. Like, the worst is definitely over. So have a great one, Aquarius. Rise and be love. Okay.